In the following video, our friend and pro staff partner, Scott Elsey, demonstrates various slick lures in a pool setting. The first video shows the slick with an unweighted hook, followed by the slick with a weighted hook, the slick junior with a weighted hook, and then finally the slick junior under a popping cork. Be sure to check out Scott's other videos at Gulf to Bay Fishing. Finally note that most anglers fish a slick lure with the non-slip loop knot to get the maximum action. Uh, it's just a little loop knot, so it allows the bait to kind of get more more action uh, when you're working it. All right, let's we'll see what this bad boy looks like underwater. All right, I'm going to do it. This one and this one you'll see it kind of has more of a top water action, a lot of top water action here. So when you want that kind of a top water splashing, you put take that weight off. Just to give you another shot of it real quick going by. See how that nose comes up and touches that water? It usually doesn't do that with the 1 8 ounce weight. With the 1 8 ounce weight, it stays just a little bit below the surface. When you take it off, it'll come up and give that little kind of a pop right on the surface. The early morning bite. All right, I'm going to give this the slow. You'll see that it does sink slower without the 1 8 ounce. You see it's a lot slower. Now, 0.1 of a second, it makes a difference. And so if the fish are a little bit more lethargic and you want that slower movement, take that 1 8 ounce off and you can just bounce it over the oyster piles or the grass flats. All right, I'm going to work it a little bit faster now. This is how I'll work it in the springtime, kind of making it dart back and forth off the dog. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. You can see, I love it when it comes up and touches the top of the water. It's almost like as if it's like a mullet just coming up. When you see this mullet swimming in the springtime or in the beach, you see them, they kind of touch their fins up a lot. That's what this bait does when you're working it. Let it sink down and then you kind of give that reel and pop it and just let it float down and just kind of always, you're kind of slowly always reeling and just keeping positive tension on that line because when you feel that bite, it's going to be on that drop like that. I mean, it's just beautiful how it sinks down like that. All right, and now we're gonna go with the slow one where you see it sinking and kind of twitching all the way up. You can really see how much this bait moves around and changes direction. Specs absolutely love it. But you look at this thing just underwater. I mean, it just looks so good. It looks just like a little bull minnow kind of dashing through the water. Looks really good. All right, let's get another one here. You can re reel this one in just like the original too and just let it walk the dog by just getting a steady reel in and it just kind of walks the dog underwater. The main thing is to leave that positive tension on that line so you can feel those bites. And also like this is how I really normally work it and just kind of reel and just kind of pop it. You can see how it drops down in the water column. Just a beautiful bait. Really excited about fishing with this this summer. All right. A 
Look at that, man, just looks awesome underwater. All right, let's get one more. I'm gonna work this one a little bit faster, just in case you have some feeding frenzies, feeding frenzies going on, and you wanted that thing to really kind of be working fast on the top of the water. 